we need to have the horse as calm as possible and as immobile as possible. As you'll see in a moment, the quarters are pretty tight at the back of this horse's mouth and it's very important that we have the horse under sedation for her safety as well as ours. Once the animal is sedated, we change halters. Then we fit the horse with a full mouth speculum so that we can view the back parts and the extent of the mouth from front to back. Once the mouth is thoroughly washed, an arcade speculum is used so that both owner and veterinarian can view the extent of the lesions present. Inside we have some wearing of the teeth along about premolar four and molar one. We have a few lesions along the cheek. We've also got several places along the tongue here that you can see have been damaged somewhat. We've got the development of a hook here at the back. More lesions in the tongue here. All right, once we've made the inspection of the mouth, we have an idea of what we need to go fix. The object now is to be able to do it with as little trauma to the soft tissue as possible. I think you just viewed the fact that the quarters are pretty tight within the mouth. Therefore, we've developed some instrumentation that would allow us to work each individual tooth or sculpt each individual tooth while we're still handling the instrument so that we're protecting the soft tissue and we know where the instrumentation is at. We use a lot of lubrication with this style of dentistry and the reason we do is both for the operator of the instrument and the horse it does help alleviate some of the uh, uh, friction or uh, burns that you have inside the mouth that's due simply to the vibration. The instrument moves at about 6,000 oscillations per minute and it has less than a 3 eighths of an inch stroke. So once the instrument is in place, you start on the outside of the arcade, you work your way up and back the outside. We start on the outside. On the cutaway, as we go into the skull, you can see that we use the thumb and the hand to guide the instrument across the teeth. We work the teeth in a fashion to where we move all the way down the outside, roll the front, and then begin on the inside, moving toward the back till we reach molar three or the 11th cheek tooth on each arcade. The instrument then is used as well on the bottom row of teeth on both sides, starting again on one side of the arcade, moving up and back, rolling it over, doing the outside as well. As that's done, that finishes the front portion and rolls in or sculpts each tooth from front to back with the exception of the last two teeth. We've done the majority of the work with the 20 degree push cut blade. Now we're going to use the 22 degree round blade so that we can work the enamel ridges on the outside edge of the tooth as well as the upper buccal points on the upper arcade and some tall points as far as allowing us to round over those points without damaging any of the soft tissue. The roundness of the instrument makes it easier to manipulate all the way to the back of the mouth. Therefore, we use it so that we have a little better control and a little more room to work within. 
So as we're starting with it, we move to the back of the mouth and then back out toward the front. We'll cut to the skull so that we can show you as we're doing the procedure. We start at the back of the mouth. We round the tooth at the back, then we move toward the front, pulling the enamel ridge off of the outside. We're working from back to front, rolling or sculpting that tooth in and pulling the ridge off so that our dentistry doesn't develop those points once again. We also use this to pull off the 311 and 411 hook as required. Now that we have the upper arcade finished, we'll finish the last two teeth on the lower arcade using the two degree pull cut blade. We'll use our finger over the end of that instrument so that we can find the back of the mouth with it, work the instrument up over the top of the back hook and pull that hook off coming toward the front again so that we're not producing any trauma to the back of the mouth or to the tongue as we're doing it. This bit is placed all the way to the back to work the 311 and 411 hooks. This is used from side to side. We use our fingers repeatedly at the back of the mouth to know exactly where the soft tissue stops and the tooth begins. In some instances, we find that the soft tissue overlaps the hook at the back of the mouth so that we don't perform any damage to that tissue. We have a carbide grit blade that has the unique ability of being able to push the soft tissue out of the road as we're working over the top of the hook. Therefore, we don't cut that piece of tissue as we're working that hook down. Only in instances where we cannot do it with the other blade do we use this instrument. Once the basic part of the dentistry is done at the back of the mouth, we then use a tongue relief dental wedge that has the, pushes the tongue out of the road as we're putting it in the mouth so that we can work the incisors if we have any incisor abnormalities. We talked about lateral excursion. This is evaluated. Once we know what the lateral excursion is and whether we need to do any further work, we use a instrument of this nature that has both a coarse cut and a fine cut bit to it depending on the location. That is then used across the front teeth to work away smiles and or any abnormalities such as a smiley face, etc., where they need to be worked. We also work canines at the same time with this instrument. Lastly, upon evaluation and upon owner preference, we decide whether or not we're going to instill a bit seat within this horse. This bit is a C-shaped bit to give a little more room at the, at the tongue area so that we can provide that. And we'll use this bit to put a bit seat in your horse if you so elect. So let us define a bit seat then as the rounding of the upper and lower cheek teeth, uh, first cheek teeth on all four arcades to allow for more room for the bit to be placed against the bars and not to be pinching the cheek and or tongue. Once your horse is done, we reverse all horses with Yohembean to reverse the effects of the sedation for two reasons. One, to eliminate any side effects of sedation. Two, to allow you to be able to move your horse or haul your horse within five to 10 minutes after the procedure is done.